Today I have with me somebody who's done a lot for Indian cricket. First as a batsman, then as a captain and currently as the head coach of the Indian national side. Rahul Dravid is in conversation with us as he gears up for an action-packed tour of England. Rahul, thank you so much for taking the time out and talking to us. This fifth test match at Edge Baston is uh, a series completion after a break of a year. There's uh, World Test Championship points at stake. There's a series victory right uh, there on the horizon. How do you not let the pressure affect the players that are going to go out uh, there onto the field? Yeah, you know, I think it's it's unique. It's a unique situation. You're not used to sort of playing uh, a series which is split up with a years almost a years gap in between. It's kind of a, it's really unique. You know, you, you play a series and you're done with it or and especially to come to a tour like England and play a one-off test match is, is, is extremely rare. Uh, you know, from our perspective, I think we prioritised this, this test match uh, as much as we possibly could given the schedule and, and given the amount of cricket that, you know, our boys are playing. Uh, we've tried to ensure that the guys who are playing this test match are fresh and, and, and ready and uh, tried to get as much preparation as we could over the last, you know, week uh, that we've been here in the UK. In the end of the day, uh, a lot of it is not it doesn't come down to results. Yes, results are important at this level and, and you are, you know, trying to get the right results. But also it's about doing the, the processes right and ticking the boxes and working hard and ensuring you're prepared and planned well and, you know, doing all of those things. And if you do that, then, you know, I think sometimes you've just got to go out there and express yourself and let the cards fall as they may. You know, uh, a lot of times things go for you and sometimes they don't in a test match. And, and I think the kind of environment we've tried to create around the groups, one is quite relaxed and, and one which we the boys know that we trust them. Uh, we back them and, and we appreciate the effort and the hard work that they've been putting in. England just beat New Zealand in the recently concluded series. How does India plan on taking on their counter-attacking batting approach? Well, um, I mean, yeah, I know there's a lot of talks being about England and, and their uh, style of batting. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward. We've got a really good bunch of fast bowlers. I think uh, the quality in our pace bowling and our seam bowling department is uh, something that, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in. Uh, it's been excellent over the last... Uh, four or five years, we've built a really strong core group of fast bowlers and, and who've performed all over the world in all kinds of conditions. So, yeah, I think it's it's going to be an interesting contest. Uh, you know, I think our boys are ready for it. We've discussed it. We've talked about it a little bit. But I think what we've really come to the conclusion that the focus is on ourselves. It's not really so much on what they're going to do. Uh, the game is still simple. You still have to bowl the ball in the right areas. You hit the top of off stump. Uh, I, I, I don't care. You know, uh, whoever it is, it's still a very good ball. Uh, and we've just got to hit enough balls, uh, put enough balls in an area that hits the top of off stump. We do that consistently enough. Uh, I'd back ourselves if, if, they, if, if they have the ability to hit our good balls or if they have the ability to uh, counter-attack our good bowling, then, then good luck to them. But, uh, but yeah, I think it's, uh, I'd love them to play in an, an attacking and aggressive manner against the quality of our seam bowling. What is your impression of Ben Stokes' captaincy so far? You know, obviously, he's been, uh, uh, can't fault it, it's three. <laughs> he's won every test match, he's captain. Um, but yeah, no, I, there's no doubt that they've played very well. I, I think you, you've got to give credit to England. They, they have played very well. They were going through a little bit of a difficult period and they'd lost a lot of test cricket over the last year and a half, two years. And, and, and they've come into this test match. And, and it's not that they've had everything easy. They've found themselves in a couple of difficult situations as well. Uh, but they've been able to, you know, fight their way out of it and, and, and battle their way out of it. So, obviously, a lot of credit for that should go to, you know, uh, Stokes and the way he's probably leading this team. But that gives us hope as well. You know, we, we know that New Zealand, while they might have lost 3-0, uh, did come pretty close in a couple of those test matches and probably one wicket away from winning the test match. So, so we know that, you know, I, I, while they're playing very well, they have given chances and opportunities uh, to the opposition. And it's really for us, if we get into those kind of situations, to grab those opportunities. Since the break in the series, uh, there, there's the absence of KL Rahul and more recently now Rohit Sharma. But India seems to have options to make their playing 11 for this match. Is a problem of plenty a good problem to have? Uh, it is a great problem to have. Though, of course, we will miss, you know, the kind of experience. Especially, I think, the, the last series was built on the opening partnerships that Rahul and, and, and Rohit provided. And you know, that was a large part of us, of India being 2-1 up in the series. So, of course, I mean, they're, they're quality players have played in these conditions. But like you rightly said, I think we've got... You know, we've got people who can step in um, in, 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 both those, in, in both those positions. Um, obviously, you know, we're missing uh, Rohit as a skipper, but it's a great opportunity for Jaspreet to be able to lead the side. Jaspreet Bumrah has been leading India's pace attack for a while now, but he's going to be the captain of the side in this, the fifth test match. In all of your interactions with Jaspreet Bumrah, what are some of the things that stand out about him as a leader? 
Well, I, I just think he's a, he's quite a thoughtful individual. I think he thinks about the game. Uh, he he understands the game quite well. He he understands his bowling, um, you know, exceptionally well. Uh, but but he also just I think uh, you know he he does understand the game and uh, he's keen and he's always having conversations about the game as well. Um, also, I think uh, he commands the respect of the team. I think that's a really important thing as a as a leader. Uh, you've got to perform on your own. You've got to be a performer. You've uh, got to be able to do the difficult things for the team when it's required. And, and Jaspreet's done that many a time, you know, in red ball cricket and and even in in the white ball format of the game. And 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 I think that's that's an important aspect because then you do command the respect of the team, and and the team does respect you for putting your body on the line and performing under pressure. So that I think he'll take that box as well. Obviously, the the tactical side of things, the captaincy side of things, you know, bowling changes, field placings. He's only going to get better as he does it. You know, it's not easy. Uh, he's not captained uh, ever. He's not captained a lot. So so obviously that's going to be a challenge. But uh, but we'll have to support him through that. You know, it's not easy for a fast bowler to captain as well, considering the fact that he's got to look after his own bowling. Um, he's got to uh, you know set fields while he's bowling, or he's got to think about fielding changes. And had a few call, had a couple of conversations with him over the last couple of days to just tell him that you know just to relax and we need him probably more as a bowler uh, and rather than a captain. And we can support him on, on a lot of the other stuff. Uh, and yeah, I think captaincy is something you only the more you do, the better you get at it. Awesome! Thank you so much for Thanks. taking the time.